Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know it's been like another three months since I last put up a video. It's been like a whole term. It's already second term and the last time I posted it was the first week of university. And basically the reason for that is I had kind of a difficult few months because a lot of stuff was happening and it was really hard getting used to living by myself in a different country and all that stuff. So yeah, it took me a while to get used to it. But I'm back and hopefully I'm gonna actually stay back this time. But yeah, I'll talk more about that at the end of the video if you want to hear more. But today I'm going to show you guys my room. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to the door. Alright, so here is the door. It's a nice purple color. And basically I put up two hooks here. Here's my scarf. Here's my um, belt. And up there is supposed to be the UCL fire information, but it's so ugly, so I just stuck a piece of paper up there and it's a cross. So that's something nice to look at before I leave every morning. Once you get in, this is what the room looks like. Okay, so the first bit over here is just of a sink. Um, I don't know what to say about that. And there's a pair of shoes and the laundry detergent stuff and a bag of rice. And on the other side, when you walk in, is actually the closet. So it's not really organized, but what I put up here is my food. So what I put at the very top one is like trash. And this one is where I put all my food and I don't organize it at all because I'm not tall enough. But there's like spaghetti, pasta sauce, a lot of Asian instant noodles and the like. And over here is the closet. Um, I don't really put a lot of clothes here. What I have is just my um, formal clothes. So I have like suit jackets, a dress, a couple of dresses, like suit stuff, shirts. Just the stuff that I can't get creased. And everything down there is just like home stuff and laundry. And I love this part of my room. So I feel like this looks super, I don't know, English or European because it's a place to hang coats. Like in Asia when it's so hot, there are no places to hang coats because there are rarely any coats. So I was really excited about this when I first moved in. So basically there are like three hooks here. This is my it's so cold jacket. This is my it's 10 degrees or above jacket. This is my I feel like being colorful jacket. So I've got all my winter jackets there and I've got my shoes here. So like just normal trainers and some boots and up there I also have three more pairs of shoes it's just like running shoes and then um, like party heels and working heels so I wear these less often so they just go up there and so this is the rest of my room what this is is um, to hang clothes on but there are no clothes here right now and this is what the view looks like outside my room the sky is so beautiful today, like I was walking home from class just now and I was shook because look at the sky, I mean come on, it's beautiful. Oh. And we have the BT Tower right there. The right side of my room is kind of like my working area. Well, first of all, it's this chair and this is the chair where I do my devotions. Um, so every morning I just sit here with my Bible and stuff and I've got all my pens and highlighters here to highlight stuff in my Bible. And yep, that's where I sit every morning and I put like a throw blanket on top because the chair itself is ugly and blue so this kind of makes it prettier and this area, I mean this area over here is kind of the messiest area of my room. I have my hair dryer and then down there are just lots of like bags for when I need to go shopping or like shower stuff because we have shared showers so I need to bring in my own shampoo and conditioner and so on so I just leave all that here and I just have my bag and then my school bag um, for class and that goes right here and then over here is my desk and it kind of does look messy right now but it's honestly not it's just that I have a lot of stuff so here's my desk there's nothing really special I guess I've got my pens my bullet journal um, here is, oh, there's me. Here's where I put, like, my, um, makeup stuff. So I have my glasses, uh, makeup stuff, and then, um, earrings, because I just pierced my ears, like, literally three weeks ago. So that's there. 
And here's like my day to day like stuff. I don't know, like contact stuff, makeup wipes, a brush, and so on. And this area is like for food. So I've got cookies that my mom made, some tea, nuts, I don't know. Got some snacks. And over here is just where I put my water. So basically it's like this half is my bathroom, this half is my kitchen because I have neither of those. So I just put it all on my study table and that's why there's a lot of stuff here. But I mean it works out fine. I just ignore that and work here when I have to work. And when I need to eat or clean up, I just go over here. So everything is really nice and convenient. And here's my chair. I also put a throw on top because it's also a really ugly chair by itself, but now with the throw, it looks really pretty. Okay, so these are the drawers. They're just pretty standard. So I think here's all my stationery. Here's all my documents. Here is my rice cooker. Yes, for the rice. And over there, it's also just a lot of home stuff. So like tissue paper. Um, this is all my kitchen stuff. So I have all my cutlery. I have a bag of noodles here for some reason and down here is just other stuff so I've got medicine, camera stuff um yeah it's messy I don't really <laughs> I don't really clean up my drawers but yeah that's that so over on this side is just my bed which I made today and my friend's poster which I got from like the UCL poster sale and it makes me happy just to look at them every day over here um is just my shelf for stuff so I made this tie-dye out in my first week here and I just use it as like a I don't know curtain thing so there are all my clothes and it's super messy I can tell so this is why the tie-dye thing covers it up so it doesn't look messy and right here I have um, some scrap paper for school some more paper up there and some books that I bought in my first week in London because I thought law school would give me enough time to read for fun, but apparently not. And down here are just my school stuff. So right here are all my textbooks. Just looking at it scares me a little. And I have my binders. So I have public law, property, criminal, and there's contract over there because I just had an exam this morning. And over here is not my school stuff. Um, it's basically just a lot of stuff I do for fun. So I have a book of poetry that I write. I have a book I'm reading. I have my Bible. Um, what's this? Another book. My journal. And then I've actually got like coloring pencils and a coloring book because I'm trying to do more like de-stressing stuff this term to prevent myself from having a mental breakdown so this all helps so I've got a coloring book I've got a devotion book and then this is really cool okay so I bought this um, book and it was actually published in 1989 so this is um, the oldest thing I own and it's beautiful I promise I'm gonna read it someday but yeah I just keep it here for now and over there I have my like Bible journal. So this is all stuff that I do for fun. Maybe I'll do it before I go to bed. So that's why it's right here next to my bed. And finally, I just have my clock. It's my alarm clock for the morning. And actually during the daytime, like I only have one clock in my room. So I will move it and put it over here. So I get a clock when I study. So yeah, that's my room and I love it a lot because I feel like I finally get my own room because I used to live with my little sister. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you why I haven't been around the last few months so if you care enough then you can stick around and watch the end of this video but basically so September I moved here I filmed that video about my first week in uni and then afterwards it kind of went downhill a little because like law school is stressful and it's stressful living by yourself it's stressful living in a completely new country where people don't speak the same language that you used to speak and everything was just a lot and I think what was the hardest for me to settle in was like um, finding community because back home I had my parents and I had all my friends that I'd known for like six years at least and I was just surrounded by all those people who loved me and always supported me and they were always just there but when I like migrated to London like it was just myself plucked out of that circle and dropped into this foreign country so like the first few months 
I knew very few people here in London and like I did make friends like in my course and in my halls and at church and stuff but it's still not the same because like these people are all new people so you kind of have to like build up an image in front of them and you can't like completely be yourself at least at the start so that was really difficult for me because like it just felt so hard to constantly have to socialize and be like a good person every day when you're out there so that was really difficult yeah and as i said law school is hard there's a lot of work to do and there's also a lot of like competitiveness going around because like people are like joining competitions people are applying for jobs and all that stuff so like all of that was just like brum, 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 brum. like i couldn't handle all of it so i was really like sad and like just not happy for the last few months but I went home for Christmas and I feel like now it's a lot better because I know myself a lot better and I kind of know like what stuff makes me unhappy, what stuff makes me happy so I can sort of like figure it out and I can sort of like still manage to get through life by myself in this weird European country. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, I'm pretty used to London now and it's good and I'm trying to make the second term a lot better than the first term so I'm gonna keep making videos and hopefully I'll keep you guys updated on like my mental health journey or like the law school journey. I don't know, whatever you want to see. So um, just comment down below what videos you'd like to see next and I will see you guys very soon because I promise I won't disappear again. Okay, bye!